Hi, this is BB, and I <coughs> I'm having a bit of a like a a rough day today, and I just I just I'm frustrated, but I have to keep it you know down to a minimum. This like. <coughs> This one is in my in my head telling me, um, you know, I'm not do like I have a work channel and she's more interested in the work channel. Why I don't know. I can't advertise it. I can't do anything to actually make some money. What is the point? It's like the woman just likes to antagonize me. This is not gonna stop until this woman is dead, and it's not gonna be fucking me. And this is not me doing this to her this is her, someone doing this to me i realize that now it's not going to stop until she's in the fucking ground she doesn't have any filters like that she doesn't have any tact she doesn't have any type of humanity uh left in her she doesn't have any she's not a, she's not a human being anymore she gave that up a long time ago for the grand adventure of fucking with people to see how much torture their bodies can take before they crumble. She's writing a book about it, I guess. She has family. She's got relatives that I know of. I never met, I never really spoke to any of them, I don't know them. But they have to know on some level what this woman is doing. They have to know on some level. I actually sent some, uh, through Facebook, I sent some, some messages to her sister. Asking them to please tell her to stop if she's doing this. They didn't even get back to me. But yet when the police, when the FBI looks for her, they can't, no, they can't find any trace of her. And this is the FBI, not the, just the regular police. It's like she doesn't exist. And they don't seem to see something wrong with that. Is, is she missing? How can she not exist? She's not showing up as deceased. Where is she? And I'm telling you something is happening to me here. Is it, is it, is it, is it am I in the fucking twilight zone? Because it's beginning to feel this way. Like I'm in, in some sort of, uh, 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 some kind of twilight zone somewhere. Something feels off about this. Like everything is moving in, in slow motion and everything is just weird. And I've examined that. Is it possibly that I am the one moving in slow motion? I am the one who's suddenly weird and everybody else is sane and I'm suddenly off my damn rockers? I don't think so. This is the impression they want to give me. I mean, what, what, what are the odds here? Everybody else is crazy and I'm saying, mm, what kind of thinking is that? That's a crazy, crazy person would think that. So I have to go digging now to find what's like, like, like evidence of shit that's happening to me and stuff that's happening to me and comparing it to what's happening around, what's happening to other people, except that I see patterns, which is good for me because I see patterns very clearly and I see a lot of patterns. I've, I always have, I see patterns. But the thing is with this, is that I, this woman is just, just she doesn't stop. And I don't think she's going to stop until somebody puts her in the ground. Now she had a boyfriend as far as I could tell, right? Where is this boyfriend? I would love to know if he's in any branch of the military. I really would. Or, or somebody he knows. Because that will give a lot of what happened here. She, this woman does not stop. She doesn't stop. And people will say, well, don't say anything. You know, people will say, you know, like they like have the thought or they would say, don't say anything. You're only antagonizing her. I'm sorry. But she's doing this to me whether I say anything or not. The point is, why is she doing this at all? 
That's like saying the victim is, is, is the bad person. Keep your mouth shut. It's not easy to keep your mouth shut when this is continually happening. It wasn't a one-off and then it stopped. It happened a one time and it stopped. It's been over two fucking years she's been at this. Because I know what some people would say. Because I think about it. I'm saying these things and if I don't say them, maybe that'll antagonize her. Why is she antagonized at all? I don't know what she says. I don't know what... I, I'm not antagonized by anything anybody else says in their own home. Because I simply don't know and I don't care. They have their right to their own opinion. These people have too much power. Right now there's pain right back on my head here. It hurts like crazy. I got to take... Make a video of the, the, the nanobots that I'm talking about. I think I did it before, but I'm going to make it again. And post it on here of what I believe is happening to me. And it's not just that. There's other things happening here. Something, and I, I, have a, I have a belief system that they have to have access to me somehow. How, I don't know. How, I don't know. How, I don't, I don't understand. But what's happening is that I need someone to actually um, do something to try to one of her people, if 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 they can just get her to stop. What 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 is going on here? What are they trying to accomplish here? Is her family in on it? They're certainly not doing anything to stop it. But they're human beings, right? As long as it suits for their family, for their immediate family. They don't give a shit about anybody else. They're police now. Because I don't understand. Because I don't understand any of this. Now she's telling me that I'm going to get myself killed because Eric, she didn't do any, anything. She didn't do anything. That she didn't do anything. That I'm going to get myself killed. Well, if the boyfriend is going to kill me, I think it would be a humane killing in this, in this case. Because it'll mean the torture will come to an end. It'll mean the torture will come to a fucking end. If this is what they say, well, do you want to continue to be tortured or do you want some one of us to pop your ass? I'll take the popping. I, I, I'm tired. I don't want to be in pain day and fucking night. I don't want to be sitting here like just wasting my fucking life, which is what they want. They want that. Our life is so pointless. And how do they do this? They cut you off from everything that you're doing. They cut you off. What's the point? It's like, it's like a form of torture. Well, look at me. I'm sitting here not doing anything for my work channel or doing... And, and I can't advertise it. I'm just doing something for somebody else's benefit. And not in a good way because nobody's benefit. Nobody even watches it. If I could... If, it, if one person would see it and they would feel... They would get something from it, I'd be happy to do it. It's not like anyone's seeing it. They're just using, using, they're saying these things to antagonize me. Every time I go on Facebook, where my business is, where my, where my work account is. Every time I go on Facebook, it's, it's saying that the, um, 
it, it, you're, you're now online again, which means that it was offline just prior. And I mean in a browser or in the app. You're online again. How does that, how does that happen? Because they're hacking everywhere. They're coming at you from inside. Look, I, uh, 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 one of these things I had on um, McAfee. McAfee has where it's, it's all in, incoming connections, all right? It, it, it blocks it, like it doesn't know where it's coming from. It tries to block it. And I've had people, uh, some of them coming from inside Microsoft, inside um, um, somewhere in the US military, I don't know. It's coming to me from inside Google, inside these places. Now, why would these people hack me? What, okay, I'm a website that is, you know, in the grand scheme of things, there are way, websites that are way, way more successful than mine. So I can make about 100 to 150 grand a year with a little bit of effort. What would Microsoft want with me since I never advertised with them really? Why did, why, why is someone contacting me or trying to get into my computer from Microsoft? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. The connection was blocked, of course. They're coming from all over, all over. Within a month, there were like, I don't know how many thousands. And I don't have, uh, my computer is now Wi-Fi. It has an ethernet connection. So where were they coming from? I don't understand. I, don't, I, I just have very basic shit that I do on it. I don't understand. Well, you know, why would it be coming from, from places like um, call centers are calling, like the certain call centers, but certain um, businesses, like something, something to do with the U.S. government was one, Microsoft was another, Google was another. Um, I don't know. And I checked the times when somebody would be contacting me from these places. No, nobody contacts me from Google at all. It's hard to get to speak to anyone. They take your money to, you know, but they don't really, con they don't really offer any particular phone service because it's a simply like a self-help type thing. You do, you do what you do because they don't, they don't cater for people fucking with you and destroying your shit. They don't have time for that. They don't anticipate it, so they don't prepare for it, and they don't really—they don't really care. There's really nobody on this side, and these these people know this. They feel they can do anything and get away with it. Now, I have not had any police records, so the government is not backing them in any way. Oh well, she's just a waste of space. It's okay to torment her and kill her. And throw her away like a piece of garbage. The government is not on board with this. They are not backing this. This is what they want us to believe. Like somehow the government has written us off the page. And they're just doing the work that nobody else wants to do. They're the executioners of the United States. Because this is what it fucking seems. This is what it this is what it feels like to me. But like somewhere for some crime that I did not know I committed, or they saw in the ether, whatever the fuck this, this thing is, that I may have committed some crime which I never was tried for, or I was never accused of really. Uh, no court of law, no nothing. Nobody said anything to me. But, you know, they now have the power to write me off the page. What, what the fuck is this? A purging? They're purging? What is the impression these fucking people want to give? What is this about? What is this about, man? What is this?
is this about? Sorry, I don't look my best. I I woke up several times last night. I tried to go to bed a little early. It didn't work out. And my head hurts. But like, what is this? Some kind of fucking purging. And then you, what, so what, who are they? Getting rid of the riffraff. The unwanted. But you show me where am I un unwanted. How, where? I believe they're the fucking riffraffs. And they're trying to pass it out on us. Because if they can kill us, we cannot defend ourselves, nor can we accuse anyone. I always say this, and I will maintain that until I die. If we are dead, we can't protect. We can't protect ourselves. We can't defend ourselves, nor can we accuse anyone. Why the fuck else would this be happening? They stole from me. Okay, they stole from me. They already sold it. They didn't need me for any of that. What the fuck is this for? It doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I'm going to make a video of this nanobot things that I'm talking about and uh, put it out here and see um, if it has any merit. <laughs>